Hi, welcome. Uh, I, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I thought I would sit down and get off my ass and do one. And I've chosen a very moderate thing for you today. Uh, this is Go the Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach. And it's about a parent trying to get his child to go to sleep. And the background is when Adam Mansbach's daughter Vivian was four years old, she would take four hours to get to sleep. And eventually he just said, uh, he just got so frustrated with this that he, uh, that he posted on Facebook, coming up my children's story, go the fuck to sleep. Then his friends thought this was fantastic. He, he actually, some people approached him about a publishing deal, so he said, what the hell? He got a friend of his, Ricar sorry, Ricardo Cortez, who was a contributor to the New York Times to do the illustrations, and it was published in 2011 and became an immediate success. It's described as a children's book for adults, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of covered with a lot of, uh, of saying the word fuck an awful lot, so if that disturbed you, then sorry. Uh, but, and, uh, the f and Samuel L. Jackson did a wonderful version of speaking this on Facebook, which I heartily recommend that you, uh, that you check out if you uh, uh, to, to see how a professional does this but uh, he followed it up by well, with a, a family friendly version which basically please go to sleep which uh, didn't have the same <laughs> language in it but i was reading it the other day and i thought you know i'd like to put my own spin on this so uh we are going to uh, try and make this happen so this could either be very good or very bad <laughs> so here goes nothing Go to Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach. The cats nettled, nestle close to their kittens. The lambs have laid down with this sheep. You are cozy and warm in your, dead, in your bed, my dear. Please go to fuck to sleep. The windows are dark in the town, child. The whales huddle down in the deep. I'll read you one very last book if you swear you'll go the fuck to sleep. The eagles who soar through the sky are at rest, and the creatures who crawl, run, and creep. It's been 38 minutes already. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Go to sleep. All the kids from the daycare are in dreamland. The froggy has made his last leap. Hell no, you can't go to the bathroom. You know where you can go? The fuck to sleep. The owls fly forth from the treetops. Through the air they soar and they sweep. The hot crimson rage fills my heart, love. For real, shut the fuck up and sleep. The cubs and the lions are snoring. <coughs> wrapped in a big snuggly heath. How come you can do all this other great shit, but you can't lie the fuck down and sleep? <laughs> <clears throat> the seeds slumber beneath the earth now. The cr and the crops that the farmers will reap. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Fucking sleep. The tiger reclines in the Siberian jungle. The sparrow has silenced her cheek. Fuck your stuffed bear. I am not getting you shit. Close your eyes. Cut the crap. Sleep. Flowers doze low in the meadows and high on the mountain so steep. My life is a failure. I'm a shitty ass parent. Stop fucking with me, please, and sleep. <sighs> The giant pangolins of Madagascar are snoozing as I lie here and openly weep. Sure, fine, whatever, I'll bring you some milk. Who the fuck cares you're not gonna sleep? <sighs> this room is all I remember. The furniture is crappy and cheap. You win, you escape, you run down the hall as I nod the fuck off and sleep. <sighs> Bleary. And dazed I awaken to find your eyes shut. So I keep my fingers crossed tight as I tiptoe away and pray that you're fucking asleep.
We're finally watching our movie. Popcorns in the microwave. Beep. Oh no. Oh shit. God damn it. You've got to be kidding. Go the fuck back to sleep. <laughs>